Well, hi, I'm Christine Nome. I'm the governor of South Dakota and had the opportunity to come to Smile, Texas to fix my teeth, which has been absolutely amazing. For years, I have needed to have an adjustment to my teeth from a biking accident, and they have been absolutely phenomenal. But but why? <laughs> but why? <laughs> Back up. So for reasons unknown, South Dakota Governor Christy Nome has released an almost five minute long video, an infomercial, if you will, promoting a dentist's office that's not in South Dakota. Weird. But in Texas? And why did we have to see the close up mouth shots? I don't know. No one wanted to see that, Christy. It was so close. And I really wish that they had set up like, so as you're talking, it occasionally goes to a shot that's like right on your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was that was odd. And what? it had been edited to include those. And I don't know why. So you can watch the entirety of the video if you'd like to torture yourself on X, which is where she posted it. So Smile Texas is a dentist's office in Houston that specializes in cosmetic dentistry. So that includes things like veneers, dental implants. Although I have a problem with referring to dental implants as cosmetic cosmetic dentistry. Like why? Because, I mean, look, dentures are rough and dental implants are, teeth are important. It's a part of your digestive system. You get what I'm saying? Like to yeah. say that it's just purely cosmetic is a joke to me. Well, I think some of the procedures are cosmetic, others are not. Yeah. I don't know, but I get what you're saying. Dental implants don't tend to be covered by insurance either. So okay. anyway, so let's move on. So why did Christy Nome do this? What's the point behind it? Is she getting paid? Probably. I'm speculating, but probably we'll get to that in a moment. But first, I guess more of this cringe video that she put out. Years ago, I was uh, out bike riding with all of my kids when they were little and uh, had a biking accident and knocked out all of my front teeth. And so several years ago, I did a consultation here at Smile Texas and did it by Zoom, but could never quite find the time. Um, and recently, Got the chance to work with Dr. Davis. Um, Dr. Dooley's always been fantastic to me too, but the team here was remarkable and finally gave me a smile that I can be proud of and confident in. And that really is a gift that I think is going to be incredibly special to have. I want when people look at me to hear the words that I say and not be distracted by something that um, I'm wearing or how I look or uh, even my appearance. I want them to focus on my thoughts and ideas and, and what we can do to really make this country better. Well, when they first showed me with a mirror my new teeth, I started to cry. Why, like why would, okay, all right. Yeah, uh, I Okay, so she's, I've never seen her with a bad, she's always looked the same to me. So maybe she maybe did have before. that terrible biking accident and did lose her teeth and did have to get this treatment. Um, shout out to Dr. Dooley, I, you know, I hear he's amazing. Mm -hmm. And I thought that she had used like stock footage <laughs> of a random dude in the middle of that video, uh -huh. but I, I think that was actually the dentist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was really yeah. him and he was really doing some sort of like primate aggression display. That was such a weird shot of him. Right? I know. So in an email to the Daily Beast, uh, Paul Necht, who's the executive director of the South Dakota Dental Association, said that the governor knows several SD dentists quite well. So she must have had a good reason for selecting Smile Texas, if you know what I mean. You know, maybe there was a little bit of pay to play. I, I don't I, know. I don't, we don't know. We no, don't, I don't know. know. We don't know. I, I don't really have much of a issue with, I mean, I have issues with like the way they edited that video and everything. The fact that she's doing it, like if she went to this place and had a procedure done and it helped her have this emergency, I get having an attachment. I've never had all of my front teeth knocked out, but I really like my dentist. Sweet, sweet John. I'm not Iderola. saying I would never sweet, promote them. Sweet, sweet John Idarola. What? You have an attachment to your doctor or your dentist. Uh, it's weird that it's in a different state. Maybe John. she has family in that area. I don't John. know. John. What? John. Do you want me to criticize her? I'll criticize her. No, no, I'm not, not for nothing. Mm -hmm. But like, you really think like, oh, Christy Nome had a horrible bike accident and lost some well, teeth and she couldn't find, I mean, she, she had difficulty finding a cosmetic dentist in her state. South Dakota's got 15 she's people. She's a in governor. It. It might guys. literally not have. She's a governor. Yeah. I, look, I gotta be honest. I. The thing that I dislike about this job the most, aside from the stress and the terrible news and the subject matter and the de daily deadlines, what I hate the most 
is advertising, okay, and promoting. Huh. I hate it, okay? The poor marketing team here at TYT, they, they probably pull their hair out whenever they think about me because I'm so difficult to work. I hate the live reads. I don't wanna promote anything, okay? The idea that a United States governor is gonna put out a nearly five minute long cringe video promoting a random dentist's office in Texas, not even her state. It's just the idea How, that- Does she have no shame? Like this country has no shame. <laughs> well, if she's being paid, then maybe she has no shame. Man. Every, everyone's trying to slang something. It's too random for it to just be a payoff. Like why would they be asking for Christine Ohm? They'd get Greg Abbott or something. Are, are, and also, like maybe she's exaggerating the emergency. emergency. Maybe Greg Abbott but was if she smart made it enough up, to say no. That's about, mm, possibly. <laughs> if she is lying about having her teeth knocked out, that is like a Katie Britt level lie. Like I don't think that she would lie about that. I think it's weird, but I it's like let's get ProPublica on it. Have them check to see if there's been any financial transfers or something. Okay, John, I'm gonna say something that might upset you. Okay, I think but it will. I'm going to make an accusation. And the accusation is, if you switched out Christy Nome with Donald Trump, you'd have a lot to say. I've had a lot to say about this. I've already had, I've already had a lot to say, and I'll say more. <laughs> the part of it that I have the biggest problem with is when she's like, when I talk, I want everyone to focus on what I say and what I'm thinking, and not my appearance. And this is not even about her, but she is a politician. Mm -hmm. They are visual, PR-driven people. She was super done up for this little lad. Mm -hmm. Your hair wasn't like that when you woke up, and it's nothing against her. If you're gonna do something like that, if you're gonna be a governor, your image does matter. Every politician, like Matt Gates, wears layers of makeup and everything. But don't like pretend that you're not interested in like the visual stuff or whatever. All right, better. And I would say the same about Trump. I'm very happy that I goaded you into criticizing her more. I was already gonna say that. <laughs> okay, okay, but okay. So more details. And by the way, she's facing a lawsuit over this. We'll get to those what? details. In, yeah. We'll get to those details in just a moment. So according to CBS News, neither of her two spokespeople um, have responded for comment and uh, neither has uh, Smile Texas. Like reporters are reaching out like what's going on? Is there some sort of relationship here? No one's responding. Additionally, it is unclear whether Nome was compensated for the video testimonial if she uh, bartered the ad for free dental work or if she paid for the veneers out of pocket. Okay, so listen, I'm gonna give her a pass if she looked at how much veneers cost and was <laughs> like, I'm not paying a thousand bucks per veneer. Whew. And so can I get a deal if I put out a promo about your business, mm -hmm. right? Like if that's what happened, okay, I mean, do you boo, right? But like. There are some ethical concerns if she got paid to put that video out there. And it's not just ethical concerns. When it comes to the platform she posted on, she's supposed to, if she's getting paid for it, she's supposed to say it's a sponsored ad or sure. something like that, you know, but that didn't happen. Uh, finally, let's get to um, the fact that she's a potential VP pick for Trump. I don't know if this is gonna help or hurt her efforts in being named the VP pick. Um, Craig Holman, a campaign campaign finance and governmental ethics expert at nonprofit DC watchdog public citizen, said that doing an ad for a private business is strictly prohibited at the federal level. However, Nome's conduct in this instance would be governed by South Dakota ethics laws, which have quite a lot of wiggle room. So maybe mm -hmm. she hasn't broken any ethics laws, we'll see. Uh, though, if she was paid to do the ad, that would seem to violate the gift rules. Public citizen, nice. Okay, All so that. there's that. Um, and then this did also catch the attention of consumer advocacy group Travelers United, which has now filed a lawsuit against Nome. So that's the update to the story that you might not have seen, John. So for violations of the District's Consumer Protection Procedures Act, that is what they are citing for their reason in filing this lawsuit. They're alleging that her undisclosed advertisements constituted an unfair or deceptive practice. They say that Christy Nome is the governor of South Dakota for a living, but seems to have taken up work as a social media influencer as of March 12th, 2024. It is not uncommon for social media influencers to work part time as influencers while do or while holding another job. 
Uh, Christy Nome benefited both physically, a new smile, and financially. She was either paid or received free or reduced cost medical services in exchange for the advertisement. And Travelers, Travelers United is asking for an order requiring Christy Nome to comply with the CPPA, pay an undetermined amount of. Jeez. This is going too far. And give up the teeth. We want them back. Give me them. <laughs> Listen, I think the punishment for Christy Nome has already happened, and it's the video, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of cruel and unusual, honestly.